In this video, we will discuss creating a pipe network from objects. If you'd like to follow along with this video, open the file 1203 creating a pipe network from objects.dwg located in the training folder as discussed in the working with this dataset video. Civil3D provides tools to creating pipe networks from existing AutoCAD objects. Let's go ahead and examine this functionality. In the Home tab, Create Design Panel, under the Pipe Network dropdown, we have Create Pipe Network from Object. With this command here, you can use lines, arcs, pylines, or feature lines to generate a pipe network object. I'll go ahead and select the tool, and notice the command line window, it says Select Object. Now I have an existing pyline in the drawing that is, let's say, the existing storm sewer graphic. It's simply a 2D pyline with its elevations set to zero. So what I'm going to do is select the pyline. And depending on which location you select, in other words, if I were to select it from this end, the flow direction will go that way. If I went to the other side of the pyline, the flow direction would come this way. You can always reverse it by clicking on reverse, but since the flow direction is good, we'll click OK. Then you're prompted to create the pipe network from object with a bunch of settings and options. So first, we'll call this one existing storm sewer. Then I already have a network part list that happens to be existing, so I can use that one, which will automate the display of all the pipe network objects. I have a few existing RCP pipes in there, and I'll just use the default one. You can always change them afterwards. As far as the structure goes, I'll use the default one here for an existing drainage manhole, as I have the majority of those. And what you definitely want to do so that you can turn on, off, and freeze and thaw this specific Civil 3D object, you want to go in and set the layers appropriately. So all I'm going to do here is use the default layer and just tack on a dash EX for the modifier value. I'll click OK for the pipe and plan. We'll do the same thing for the structure in plan. And for the profile, we'll do that as well. And then for the section. Then I need to define what surface these pipe network objects should be draped along. So I already have a combined existing ground. And if I want to do any kind of notation based off of an alignment, which I will eventually, I'm going to set this to the existing alignment. You can erase the existing entity. I'll leave this toggled off for now. But here's a really cool thing. If you happen to have a 3D pie line or a 3D feature line where the invert elevations are correct, you can actually use vertex elevations and then define where that elevation should occur. We'll toggle that off as I just have a 2D pie line. I'll click OK. And then just like that, we have our pipe network objects. Notice how the style is showing an existing type style because the pipe network's part list is defined to do so. If you'd like to see a profile view of your pipe network, you can easily do so by clicking on the alignment dropdown and then selecting Create Alignment from Network Parts. It's asking you then to define a first connected network part. So I'll start from the beginning. And then it's asking you to do the next network part, which means go to the end or wherever you want this alignment to actually end. Notice how it selects all the network parts in between. I'll press enter. I'll go with the name that I have here. So ALG dash pipe network name. It is a miscellaneous type alignment. We can use a style if you'd like to. If you want to label this, you can set it to all labels, or you can just say major and minor only, or if you don't want to label this at all, just say no labels. And if you want to create a profile and profile view, toggle this on. I'll click OK. And then what I want to do is actually select the combined EG, and we'll add that as a profile for this profile view. And then we'll click on Draw on Profile View. And I already have a predefined profile view style, which will actually make it look a little better for pipe networks. Just click Create Profile View, and this profile goes from right to left. So I'm going to go over here to the right side of my alignment and then select it. I now have a nice profile view and alignment of the pipe network object. As far as the true invert elevations for the pipe network objects and the structures, we will discuss how to change these in the Editing Pipe Networks video. This concludes this video discussing creating a pipe network from objects.